The board will now come to order. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Alderwoman Tyus. Alderwoman Middlebrook. Alderman Bosley. Alderman Moore. Alderwoman Hubbard. Alderwoman Ingracia. Alderman Coder. Alderwoman Rice. Alderman Gunther. Alderman Vollmer. Alderwoman Martin. Alderman Arnowitz. Alderwoman Murphy. Alderwoman Howard. Alderwoman Green. Alderman Oldenburg. Alderman Rohde. Alderman Kennedy. Alderwoman Davis. Alderwoman Spencer. Alderman Muhammad. Alderman Boyd. Alderman Vaccaro. Alderman Ogilvy. Alderman Cohn. Alderman Williamson. Alderwoman Boyd. Alderwoman Navarro. President Reed. Here. Alderwoman Tyus. Alderwoman Middlebrook. Alderman Bosley. Alderman Moore. Alderwoman Hubbard. Alderwoman Ingracia. Alderwoman Rice. Alderman Gunther. Alderwoman Murphy. Alderwoman Howard. Alderwoman Green. Alderman Rohde. Alderwoman Davis. Alderwoman Spencer. Alderman Muhammad. Alderman Ogilvy. Alderman Cohn. Present. Alderman Williamson. Alderwoman Boyd. You have 16 present. Mr. President, you have a quorum. Quorum being present, we will be led today in prayer by Pastor Loretta Rice from Empowerment Grace Church. Good morning to everyone. Those that can and will, if you will stand. I invite you um, into, this into this space that you would pray uh, in the order that you pray. I will be praying from the Christian uh, perspective and my belief. Father, we just thank you for this day. We give you glory, honor, and praise. We thank you for every person that's represented in this place on today. We thank you, God, for every uh, region, every territory, every ward, for all of those that represent this body, all of those, God, that are on the agenda. We invite the spirit of unity in here. Wherever there is unity, you come man the blessing and so Lord we thank you God for the change in the city of St. Louis we thank you for the landscape we thank you God that the environment um, will be shifted for your glory we give you praise we give you glory and honor in Jesus name that I pray amen let's give Pastor Rice a big round of applause that was a great opening prayer thank you We will suspend with our regular order of business, take up our courtesy resolutions calendar. All the one from the 19th, you recognize on the motion for a courtesy resolutions calendar. Uh, thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. I'd like to ask for uh, adoption of our courtesy resolution calendar. Been moved by the alderman from the 19th, seconded by the alderman from the 12th. Uh, we have a presentation by the alderman from the 28th. Good morning, fellow members of the board. I have the, the honor this morning of presenting this resolution to Judge Roberta Hitt. It um, is very much um, my honor to be up here to recognize someone with such an impressive uh, commitment and um, impressive commitment to, to public service. And it has really been my great pleasure to um, get to know Judge Hitt and, and her husband, George Hitt, over the last year. They are quite the power couple. So I'm going to uh, read this resolution that describes um, 
some of her wonderful accomplishments here at the city, as well as um, her accomplishments um, in, in public service. And then we have Judge Newton McCoy, who's going to say a few words as well. So whereas the Honorable Roberta R. Hitt, Judge of City Court 3, Municipal Division of the Circuit Court of the City of St. Louis, 22nd Judicial Circuit, retired from the bench effectively July 9, 2018, having celebrated her 75th birthday, and whereas Judge Hitt was appointed as a provisional judge and as the regular judge of City Court 3 by then Mayor Francis G. Slay and retained in office by Mayor Lida Krusen, and whereas Judge Hitt has served the City of St. Louis in many capacities since beginning her employment with the city in 1988 as regular and provisional judge of St. Louis City Court and the St. Louis Fire Department and the St. Louis Agency on Training and Employment in the Law Department as a prosecuting attorney in the Municipal Division and as the Manager of Training and Organization Development in the Department of Personnel. And whereas Judge Hitt has presided over the Housing Court docket since being appointed as the Judge of City Court 3, and whereas Judge Hitt has fulfilled all of those duties with honor and distinction, and whereas Judge Hitt is also a member of the NAACP, Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, the African American Jewish Task Force, and the Missouri Municipal and Asso Associate Circuit Judges Association. And whereas Judge Hitt and her husband, George David Hitt, have been longtime and valuable residents of the 28th Ward of the City of St. Louis, and whereas we express appreciation to Judge Hitt for the dedicated service she has provided and the contribution she has made to our city. Now therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Aldermen of the City of St. Louis that we pause in our deliberations to recognize the Honorable Roberta R. Hitt for her many years of service to the City of St. Louis. We further direct the clerk of this board to include a copy of this resolution and the minutes of these proceedings and to prepare a commemorative copy for presentation at time and place deemed appropriate by the sponsor. So congratulations to Judge Hitt on her birthday and her retirement. Thank you, Alderman Navarro, uh, President Reed, and uh, all the members of the Board of Aldermen. My name is Newton McCoy. I'm uh, the administrative judge at City Courts and have served for a long time uh, with Judge Hitt. Um, we're actually here today because of something that you're all familiar with, which is the tendency of the General Assembly to want to tell cities how to regulate their business. And the General Assembly has told us that every municipal judge has to retire at age 75. Maybe if uh, they had the opportunity to meet Judge Roberta Hitt, they might make an exception for us uh, if they had to talk to her today. Uh, I am grateful uh, to uh, Alderman Navarro for sponsoring this resolution. I'm especially grateful to all the other members of the board who have signed on to be co-sponsors. Um, and I think it speaks to her service that so many of you have agreed to be part of that. Uh, she has, Roberta has, played many roles for the City of St. Louis. She's been a prosecutor in the City Councilor's Office. She's worked in the Fire Department. She's worked at Slate. She was the training manager for the Department of Personnel. And she, when she was there, she trained many managers and employees. Uh, she has touched many lives and careers in the City of St. Louis. Uh, that might have been her favorite job. I like to think her favorite job uh, was at City Court. Uh, it's where we spent our time together. Um, we have some rules in our business and traditions. Judges are supposed to be patient, courteous, and dignified. And Judge Hitt has exemplified all of that during her years of service on city court. Um, that's important now because more people see the courts at city court uh, than they do any circuit court or federal court. Uh, so it's important uh, for us, for all our judges, uh, to exhibit that. Uh, we need everybody on board uh, in order uh, to project uh, the treatment to our citizens that we need. She has done that also with our staff, and our staff is called on every day uh, to be courteous and patient with our citizens. Part of that is explained by Judge Hitt's life experiences uh, outside the workplace, She's a member of the NAACP, the Urban League of the Metropolitan St. Louis, and the African American Jewish Task Force. 
Roberta and her husband George also were longtime friends and confidants of Frankie Muse Freeman uh, before her death. And so that gives you an idea of the experience, life experience that Judge Hitt uh, brought to the bench and to all our jobs here. Um, this resolution brings things full circle for me and for the people in the building division and problem properties that have worked with Judge Hitt. She started her career with the city back in the 1980s as a prosecutor in housing court. I happened to be the judge of the housing court at that time, and she retires today serving as the judge who administers housing court and been there since the death of uh, the late James Daly Wall. Uh, it has been a pleasure uh, to work with her. Uh, I have trusted her discretion, judgment, and finesse. Um, I assign cases that are difficult. I've never hesitated to assign cases to Roberta. So it's my pleasure today to indulge on your patience to listen to these few words about her. And I congratulate her, not because she has to retire, but because she's done such a wonderful job before. Any further discussion? Any further? All the one from the 19th. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. So you think you're going to rest, huh? No. <laughs> well, I just wanted to say congratulations to you. Because as you know, it is more than serving. You bring wisdom. You bring dedication. You've been a part of this community, this region. You and your husband have given so many volunteer hours uh, and on so many different levels. And the one that I really appreciate by being in your presence and being a part of it is the care and the friendship that you gave to attorney Frankie Freeman Muse. Uh, it, it was just beyond anything that you would expect of anyone who was not blood relative. Uh, and I just really appreciate that. And I've appreciated my presence in your company and being a part of things that you've been a part of as well. And I thank you for all of that. Thank Congratulations you. to you. Thank you. From the seventh. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Uh, I just wanted to thank Judge Hitt for her years of service. I've had the pleasure of uh, appearing in her municipal courtroom a number of times, mainly as an alderman uh, on the problem properties docket uh, with my constituents from the McKinley Heights neighborhood. Uh, she always treated everyone very fairly, was uh, very patient, listened to the, my constituents uh, with their litany of concerns about some of our our slumlords in McKinley Heights, and, uh, and ultimately we got an, an excellent affair and a just uh, results in her courtroom. So thank you very much uh, for your service and congratulations. Thank you. Alderman from the 12th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Judge Hitt, congratulations. Uh, we've known each other for a while and uh, I've seen you come up and go through a lot of different places and you've, you've done a wonderful job. You're probably one of the most fair-minded people I've ever met in my life. Uh, and you didn't even have to pay me for that, see there? <laughs> but you've always been a pleasure, and especially having you here on the bench at the Municipal Courts Building for the City of St. Louis. So I just want to wish you well on your retirement and your future endeavors. Alderman from the 23rd. Judge, I, we, we met actually a couple times over some illegal dumping, and I just wanted to say thank you for your help on that because that is the first time I actually seen where somebody didn't cooperate that we put a warrant out and they were actually arrested. And that sends a message on the illegal dumping in my neighborhood. And I think she didn't believe that you would actually do that. And when the police showed up at her house and handcuffed her, uh, I think that sent a great message to my neighborhood. Thank you for the work that you've done in the, in the short time that I've actually dealt with you. But thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? Any further discussion? Any further discussion? Also, want to just add uh, my thanks and also congratulations on a job well done uh, for people all throughout this city and the region who will not have an opportunity to stand here today to thank you. So on behalf of all those residents 
and myself and, and my family and friends. Uh, I just want to thank you for a job well done. Uh, and we've had an opportunity to, uh, to add to the permanent records of the city of St. Louis, everyone from heads of states and on through. Uh, this one, to me, holds special significance because of all the things that you've done throughout your life uh, to help to break down racial barriers, uh, to assure that there was fairness within the courts. Uh, you've, you've lived it and not just talked about it. So, you know, I want to thank you as a father of four for, the, for everything that you've done to leave your stamp on the city of St. Louis. What this resolution does, it's an official act of the Board of Aldermen. It's the highest honor the board has to give any organization or individual. And it cements your name into the permanent records of the city of St. Louis so that when you read about this point in time in the city, and 200 years from now, you will read amongst those records, Judge Hitt, and know that she passed his way and made a significant contribution to the point where we paused in our deliberations today to recognize you. Let's give Judge Hitt a big round of applause. <laughs> I would like to say thank you very much to the Board of Aldermen. Thank you to Arthur Perry, who came with his grandson, Camden Burnett. Thank you to Alderwoman Navarro, who put forward the motion. Thank you to the Chief Judge, Newton McCoy. And I'd like to tell you now that I'm practically speechless. Thank you. Those who know me know that it was practically speechless. I do want to say that this is beyond my wildest dreams, the highest honor of my life. I will never forget it. I thank the city of St. Louis for giving me 30 years that allowed me to achieve my career dreams. I would like to thank um, my husband, who takes care and makes all my dreams come true. And I would like to thank Frankie Freeman, who would have loved this occasion, and she would have said, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alderman from the first. Mr. Mr. President, members of the board, I'd like to uh, suspend the rules. To Is this the proper time to do this? Uh, do you want we, me to, uh, to introduce a resolution? Uh, we'll have to do it after, because we have an open motion and a second on the courtesy resolutions calendar, so as soon as I take the vote on that, right. we'll do it. It's been moved and seconded that we adopt our courtesy resolutions calendar. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Alderman from the first. <clears throat> Mr. President, members of the board, I, I move to suspend the rules to introduce and pass Resolution 86, which is a uh, 
tribute to a Percy Green. I know we just, the second, I, I have to say that because when I say Percy Green, I get in trouble with Percy Green the third, but it's the second um, uh, memorializing to tomorrow's his 54th anniversary of his historic climb up the arch in which he uh, changed the face of how we hire black people and minorities at the, in federal jobs. Um, accumulated with Jimmy Carter putting out a, a presidential executive order. Okay. And so this, we're going to have a, uh, a, an affair there tomorrow afternoon between 3 and 5, and this is a courtesy resolution that we will present to him there. Hey, do you want it on the regular resolutions calendar or courtesy resolutions calendar? Um, can we have it on the regular? I'd like to say a little bit about it. If yes, we uh, so when we get to that point in the agenda, I'll come back to you. Okay. Because we have to go back and we, this was at the very... Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. <laughs> oh, he, he, he told me I'm out of order. Got yeah, yeah. We're, we're not in, <laughs> we're, we're come. In, introduction of Ronald Guess. Any introduction of Ronald Guess? Alderman from the 7th. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, I'd like to have as my honored guest today two 7th Ward residents, both employees of the St. Louis Development Corp. Leonard Johnson, the new uh, director of Neighborhood and Business Development at SLDC, and Lisa Otke, commercial district manager for the 7th Ward and many others. Thank you. Alderman from the 22nd. Yes, good morning. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, I'd like to have as my honored guests uh, Leroy Grant and Chris Pickle with AT&T. Alderman from the 13th. President, members of the board, I'd like to have as my special guests this morning Jeff Hans and Kevin Haynes from the uh, St. Louis, Kansas City Carpenters Regional Council. Thank you. Alderman from the 12th. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'd like to introduce as my special guest today, David Sweeney. Uh, I'd also like to introduce uh, Mr. Demetrius from Local 73. And I think, that, is that Nathan there? Nathan Lett, also from, he represents EMS. Uh, I'd also like to introduce uh, Judge McCoy, who's probably one of my favorite judges over in the city courts. And Mr. Fred Searcy, he's a legend in his time. All the one from 27. Any further introductions? Any further introductions? Alderman from the 16th. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, I would like to have as my special guest this morning, Deputy Refuse Commissioner Randy Breitenfeld, also 16th Ward constituent. Thank you, Randy. Any further introductions? Any further in it? Alderman from the 3rd. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I would also like to introduce Mr. Randy. Thank you very much to uh, our refuse department. As y'all know, it's a jungle out there, so they take care of business. Thank you. I also would like to introduce Mr. Charles Kirkwood from Kirkwood Cleaners as my special guest. Thank you very much, sir. Alderman from the, Alderman from the 10th, like to wrap us up. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, we're gathered here on July 13th, National French Friday. It was on this day in 1865 that Horace Greeley said, Go West, young man. In 1971, Smokey Robinson was singing Tears of a Clown, but today is Friday the 13th, a day of bad luck and superstition. In fact, the alderman from the 23rd woke up today, broke a mirror. <laughs> Expecting seven years of bad luck, but he said he got Dave Sweeney to reduce it to five. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the minutes. We have the minutes from June 1st, June 15th, June 22nd, and June 29th of 2018. Alderman from the 18th, you recognize on approval of the minutes. Uh, Mr. President, members of the board, I move that the minutes from June 1st, 15th, 22nd, and 29th be approved. Been moved by the from the 18th, seconded by the Alderman from the 10th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Report of city officials. Copies of report of city officials have been placed in all the Alderman's mailboxes. From the office of the mayor, I have submitted the following individual. Dear members of the board, I have the pleasure to submit the following individuals for appointment to the Railway Exchange Improve Community Improvement District. The appointment of Ms. Ashley Bush, whose property is located in the 7th Ward and whose term will expire on October 22, 2020. The appointment of Mr. Steve Method, whose property is located in the 7th Ward and whose term will expire on October 22, 2020. 
the appointment of Ms. Heather Stanley, whose property is located in the seventh ward and whose term will expire on October 22, 2020. The appointment of Mr. Robert Golterman, whose property is located in the seventh ward and whose term will expire on October 22, 2022. The appointment of Mr. Amos Harris, whose property is located in the seventh ward and whose term will expire on October 22, 2022. I respectfully request your approval of the appointments. Alderman, from the seventh, you recognize on the mayor's appointment to the community improvement to the Railway Exchange, Railway Exchange Community Improvement District. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I move to confirm the mayor's appointments. It's been moved by Alderman from the seventh. Seconded by all one from 13th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Dear members of the board, I have the pleasure to submit the following individuals for appointment to the City Hospital Powerhouse RPA 2 Phase 1 Community Improvement District. The appointment of Mr. Thomas A. Benet, whose property is located in the 7th Ward and whose term will expire on June 1st, 2021. I respectfully request your approval of the appointment. Alderman from the Senate, you recognize on the mayor's appointment to the City Hospital Powerhouse RPA2 Phase 1 Community Improvement District. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I move to approve the mayor's appointment. Moved by Alderman from the Senate, seconded by Alderman from the 13th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Dear members of the board, I have the pleasure to submit the following individuals for reappointment and appointment to the St. Louis Convention Center Hotel 3 Community Improvement District. The reappointment of Mr. Robert Miserez, whose business is located in the seventh ward and whose term will expire on June 6, 2022. The reappointment of Ms. Kathleen Barney, whose business is located in the seventh ward and whose term will expire June 6, 2022. The reappointment of Mr. Patrick Lowry, whose business is located in the seventh ward and whose term will expire on June 6, 2020. The reappointment, the appointment of Miss Erica Griffin, whose business is located in the seventh ward and whose term will expire on June 6, 2020. I respectfully request your approval of the reappointments and appointments. <coughs> Alderman from the seventh, you recognize on mayor's appointment to the St. Louis Convention Center Hotel 3 CID. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I move to approve the mayor's appointments. Moved by Alderman from the seventh, seconded by Alderman from the 13th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Pose, motion carries. Dear members of the board, I have the pleasure to submit the following individuals for appointment to the Soulard Special Business District. The appointment of Mr. James W. Rick, who resides in the seventh ward and whose term will expire December 31st, 2018. I respectfully request your approval of the appointment. Alderman from the seventh, you recognize on the mayor's appointment to the Soulard Special Business District. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I move to approve the mayor's appointment. Moved by the Alderman from the 7th, seconded by the Alderman from the 13th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. You got Dear members of the board, I have the pleasure to submit the following individuals for reappointment and appointment to the 705 Olive Community Improvement District in the 7th Ward. The reappointment of Mr. Ms. Laura Rebbe, whose name, whose term will expire on February 6, 2022. The reappointment of Mr. Stephen M. Brundell, whose, whose term will expire on February 6, 2022. The appointment of Ms. Sandra Gardner, whose term will expire on February 6, 2022. I respectfully request your approval for these appointments. Alderman from the seventh, you recognize on the mayor's appointment to the 705 Olive Community Improvement District. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I move to approve the mayor's appointments. Moved by the Alderman from the seventh, entertain a second. Second by the Alderman from the 13th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Dear members of the board, I have the pleasure to submit the following individuals for reappointment to the Tax Increment Financing Commission. The reappointment of Mr. David Newberger, who resides in the 17th Ward and whose term will expire on December 31st, 2021. I respectfully request your approval of the reappointment. Alderman from the 7th, you recognize on the mayor's appointment to the TIF Commission. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, I move to approve the mayor's appointment. Move by the Alderman from the 7th, entertain a second on that motion. Second by the Alderman from the 13th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Dear members of the board, I have the pleasure to submit the following individual for appointment to the Euclid South Community Improvement District. 
the appointment of Mr. Lucas Gamlin, whose business is located in the 17th Ward and whose term will expire on January 8th, 2022. I respectfully request your approval of the appointment. Alderman from the 7th, you recognize on the mayor's appointment to the Euclid South Community Improvement District. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, I move to approve the mayor's appointment. Moved by the Alderman from the 7th, seconded by the Alderman from the 13th. Any discussion? The next all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Dear members of the board, I have the pleasure to submit the following individuals for appointment to the Devolver Place Special Business District. The appointment of Ms. Sharon L. Beatty, who resides in the 28th Ward and whose term will expire December 31st, 2020. The appointment of Ms. Catherine A. Ruth, who resides in the 28th Ward and whose term will expire on December 31st, 2021. I respectfully request your approval of the appointments. All one from the 28th, you recognize on the mayor's appointment to the DeBolivar Place Special Business District. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, I move that we approve the mayor's appointment to the Special Business District. Moved by all one from the 28th. Entertain second on that motion. Seconded by the alderman, alderman from the 26th and 7th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Dear members of the board, I have the pleasure to submit the following individual for reappointment to the Senior Services Fund Board. The reappointment of Mr. Carl Wilson, who resides in the 17th Ward and whose term will expire on April 17, 2022. I respectfully request your approval for the reappointment. Alderman from the 12th, you recognize on the mayor's appointment to the Senior Services Board. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Uh, I would uh, like to ask that um, this appointment be moved to the health committee. I, I like um, the person to introduce herself and talk with the people in committee. All right, it's been moved by Alderman from 12th, and obtained second on the mission, second by all, Alderman from 26th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Clerk, please assign that, uh, that appointment to the health committee. So noted. Dear members of the board, I have the pleasure to submit the following individual for appointment to the Dutchtown Community Improvement District, the appointment of Mr. Michael J. Powers, whose property is located in the 25th Ward and whose term will expire on July 21st, 2019. I respectfully request your approval of the appointment. All the one from the 20th, you recognize on the mayor's appointment to the Dutchtown Community Improvement District. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I move uh, for the approval of uh, the Michael Powers to the Dutchtown Community Improvement District. Moved by the Alderman from the 20th, seconded by the Alderman from the 9th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Dear members of the board, I have the pleasure to submit the following individual for appointment to the Tower Grove South Concerned Citizens Special Business District. The appointment of Mr. Walker Hamilton, who resides in the 15th Ward and whose term will expire on December 31st, 2022. I respectfully request your approval of the appointment. All the one from the 8th, you recognize on the mayor's appointment to the Tower Grove South Concerned Citizens Special Business District. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that we accept the appointment of Walker Hammond to the Tower Grove South Concerned Citizens Special Business District. Moved by the Alderman for the 8th. Entertain a second on that motion. Seconded by the Alderman for the 9th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Dear members of the board, I have the Dear members of the board, I have the pleasure to submit the following individuals for reappointment and appointment to the Ballpark Village Community Improvement District in the 7th Ward. The reappoint, reappointment of Ms. Maddie Moore, whose term will expire on September 20th, 2021. The appointment of Mr. Michael Whittle, whose term will expire on September 20th, 2021. I respectfully request your approval of the reappointments. Alderman from the 7th, you recognize on the mayor's appointment to the Ballpark Village Community Improvement District. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, I move to approve the mayor's appointments. Moved by the Alderman from the 7th, seconded by the Alderman from the 10th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Dear members of the board, I have the pleasure to submit the following individuals for appointment to the City Hospital Powerhouse Community Improvement District, the appointment of Mr. Thomas A. Benet. Benet. Mr. Thomas A. Benet, whose property is located in the 7th Ward and whose term will expire on July 12, 2021. I respectfully request your approval of the appointment. 
Alderman from the 7th, you recognize on the mayor's appointment to the City Hospital Powerhouse Community Improvement District. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I appreciate my colleagues' patience today, and I move to approve the mayor's appointment. It's been moved by the Alderman from the 7th, seconded by the Alderman from the 10th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. From the office of the president. Dear members of the board, I have the pleasure to submit the following individuals for appointment to the Economic Development Tax Board. The appointment of Mr. Gary Guntner, who resides at 1031 Highlands Plaza Drive, West 209, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110, whose term will expire July 13, 2020. The appointment of Ms. Tammy Holland, who resides at 1938 Senate, St. Louis, Missouri, 63118, whose term will expire on July 13, 2020. I respectfully request your approval of the appointment. Alderman from the 18th, you recognize an appointment to the Economic Development Tax Board. Yes, Mr. President, members of the board, I move for approval of the president's appointment. Moved by the Alderman from the 18th, entertain second, seconded by the Alderman from the 7th and the 23rd. Any discussion? Alderman from the 22nd. Mr. President, just a matter of uh, protocol. Is this on the agenda for today? Yes. You probably got had an earlier print. Yes, yeah, okay. on page on page four. And remind me if this appointment is an appointment by the president or by the body. It's an appointment by by the president. But but uh, you can discuss have a dis if you want to have a discussion with with them because I can't enter okay. into discussions from the docs. well I. I just want to make a, a, a motion to send them to the HUS committee. And the reason I want to do that is because when we did this for the first group, it was requested that they go to the HUS committee so that we can make sure they understand what they're doing and have conversations. So I think out of fairness, then we should probably send this. So I just want to make a motion to send it to the HUS committee. It, it'll stall the process for the rest of the summer. But uh, why don't you have a discussion with them? Uh, with with yep. them for a second, if you'd l but, so, if you would like, if you'd like the alderman from the 18th to withdraw his motion, he can withdraw his motion, and then we can send it to. The I, I guess I'll, I'll withdraw my motion, but I do have a concern that we were not informed about any of this. I mean, I, some of us may would have liked to submit somebody to serve on this particular board. So, okay, I think the process was kind of. I'm disappointed in the process. But the other thing is, I believe we get four. Excuse me, you guys. I, I can barely hear myself. So I believe we get four appointments. Is that correct? It, can you, I, 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 I don't suppose to engage in this. Yeah. OK. OK. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, all. Uh, Alderman from the 23rd. Go I was going to address that. We get two that we've already picked the five, the money that has been collected since way back when we voted on the soccer stadium, none of that money has been able to be moved. And until this Eco Devo board meets, that money will continue to be collected, but money, in which is in the millions of dollars right now, cannot be spent on public safety issues, whether it's buildings, whether it's fire trucks, police cars, guns. This board has to meet in order to free up that money. So all the money that's being collected so far has not been spent. And in order to spend that, we have to finish off completing the Eco Devo board. They have to meet and then come back to us with recommendations. So, I mean, even at this, we're gonna be all the way into September before we even get a chance to start to put that money out where it needs to be put. So, you know, I think it's important that we get these members through today. Okay, thank you. It's been, been moved by the from the 18th and, ten, and seconded by the one from the 19th. Any further discussions? Been moved and seconded. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed, motion carries. That, that is the extent of the report of city officials, Mr. President. Uh, we dispense with line item seven. Would anyone like to take any bills off of any of our informal calendars? Would anyone like to take any bills off of any of our informal calendars? 
We'll dispense with line items eight through 10. First reading of board bills. Board Bill 98, sponsored by Alderwoman Davis, an ordinance recommended and approved by the Airport Commission, the Board of Public Service, and the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, authorizing a third amendment to Section 1 of the Airport Schedule F, CIP Project Ordinance 67357, approved December 19, 2006, as amended by Ordinance 68650, approved June 2, 2010, and Ordinance 68852, approved February 14, 2011, which authorized a multi-year public work and improvement program at St. Louis Lambert International Airport, amending Exhibit A, entitled Schedule F, CIP Project M -I M11 approved by adding a new project to the project list entitled Replacing Accounting Systems and containing a severability clause and an emergency clause. Board Bill Number 99, sponsored by Alderman Ogilvie, an ordinance recommended by the Board of Public Service authorizing the Mayor and Comptroller of the City of St. Louis to execute an easement agreement which shall give grant, extend, and confer in perpetuity on the city, its agents, successors, and assigns the right to install, construct, maintain, repair, and upgrade a water main for the purpose of delivering water, approving an easement agreement for a perpetual easement, authorizing certain actions by city officials, and containing a severability clause. That is the extent of first reading of board bills, Mr. President. Reference to committee. Board Bill 98, Transportation and Commerce. Board Bill 99, Ways and Means. That is the extent of reference to committee. The Second bill, reading. We, we have none. We would dispense with line item 14, perfection consent. Board bill number 67, sponsored by Alderman Coder, an ordinance to terminate and dissolve the Orpheum Theater Community District pursuant to Community Improvement District Act section 67-1401 through 67-1575 of the revised statutes of Missouri. Board Bill No. 90, sponsored by Alderman Coder, an ordinance amending ordinance numbers 69146 and 69153, authorizing other related actions and containing a severability clause. That is the extent of the Perfection Consent Calendar, Mr. President. Uh, Alderman from the 18th, you recognize a motion for the Perfection Consent Calendar. Uh, Mr. President, members of the board, I move for approval to the Perfection Consent Calendar. Moved by Alderman from the 18th. S Entertain the second, uh, second and by the alderman from the seventh. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Board bills for perfection. We have none, Mr. President. Third reading consent. Board bill number 87, sponsored by Alderwoman Murphy. Hold on for a second. Right. Alderman from the seventh. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Uh, I move to suspend the rules for the purposes of moving board bills 67 and 90. Uh, to the third reading consent calendar. Uh, any further board bills to be moved? Okay, all the Not to my knowledge. So please state those two bills again. S 67 and 90. 67 and 90. To move them from the perfection consent calendar to the third reading uh, consent calendar. It's been moved, it's been moved by the alderman from the seventh. Entertain a second on that motion. Seconded by the alderman from 24th that we suspend the rules for the purposes of moving board bill 67 and 90 to the third reading consent calendar. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Alderwoman Tyus. Aye. Alderwoman Middlebrook. Aye. Alderman Bosley. Aye. Alderman Moore. Alderwoman Hubbard. Alderwoman Ingracia. Alderman Coder. Aye. Alderwoman Rice. Alderman Gunther. Alderman Vollmer, Aye. Alderwoman Martin, Alderman Arnowitz, Aye. Alderwoman Murphy, Aye. Alderwoman Howard, Alderwoman Green, Alderman Oldenburg, Alderman Rohde, Alderman Kennedy, Aye. Alderwoman Davis, Alderwoman Spencer, Alderman Muhammad, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Vaccaro, Alderman Ogilvy, Alderman Cohn, Alderman Williamson, Alderwoman Boyd, Alderwoman Navarro, President Reed, Aye. Alderman Moore, Alderwoman Hubbard, Alderwoman Ingracia, 
Alderwoman Rice. Aye. Alderwoman Martin. Aye. Alderwoman Howard. Aye. Alderwoman Green. Aye. Alderman Oldenburg. Aye. Alderwoman Spencer. Aye. Alderman Boyd. Aye. Alderman Cohn. You have 25 aye votes, Mr. President. By a vote, you sustain the motion of the Alderman from the 7th and place the aforementioned bills on the third reading consent calendar. Third reading consent. Board bill number 87, sponsored by Alderwoman Murphy, an ordinance authorizing the honorary street name Robert Prager Way to begin at the intersection of Morgan Ford Road and Bates Street and run west on Bates Street to the intersection of Bates Street and Gravelway Avenue. Board Bill Number 67, sponsored by Alderman Coder, an ordinance to terminate and dissolve the Orpheum Theater Community Improvement District pursuant to Community Improvement District Act 67.1401 through 67.1575 of the Revised Statutes of Missouri. Board Bill Number 90, sponsored by Alderman Coder, an ordinance amending ordinance numbers 69146 and 69153, authorizing other related actions and containing a severability clause. That is the extent of the third reading consent calendar, Mr. President. Alderman from the 18th, you recognize on the motion for the third reading consent calendar. Uh, Mr. President, members of the board, I move for approval of the third reading consent calendar. Moved by the Alderman from the 18th, seconded by the Alderman from the 10th. Any discussion? Ms. Clerk, please call the roll. It's been a request for previous roll. Hearing no objection, motion carries. Third reading, report of engrossments. Board Bill 67. Board uh, no, bill uh, no, I said third reading, report of engrossments. Do you, we have none? We have none, I'm sorry, right. Mr. President. Report of enrollment. Board Bill 87, Board Bill number 67, and Board Bill 90. All other business being suspended, the President shall in open session affix this signature here too to the end that these may become law. All the women from the first. You recognize. Mr. President, members of the board, it seems that um, uh, we have a very efficient staff, so somehow uh, board, uh, Resolution 86 was put on the consent calendar. So <laughs> we already passed it. Oh, on the <laughs> I, I was expecting it to be. Uh, have to suspend the rules and introduce it, but my efficient secretary and the staff got it on. Um, so I would just like to take a moment to add some other sponsors who had, okay. had asked to uh, add their names, if that's all right with you. Yeah, please proceed. Okay, um, let's see. I have the third ward, the fourth ward, um, the tw 12th ward, uh, the 26th ward, the 9th ward, um, the, the, the 15th, 18th, uh, 21st, do you want yours? You, did I say you? Yeah, you said the third. Uh, um, the 27th. The, the 12th. The 12th, okay. So I don't want to embank because I don't like embanking without talking to people, but if, we, if, 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 the, if the chair would allow, I can find out who all wants to add their name, and then I will uh, uh, report uh, to the clerk uh, for the end of the session. Absolutely, thank you. Thank, thank you, you all the woman. Also add my name to it. Yes. Okay. First reading of resolutions. Resolution number 83, sponsored by President Reed. The Board of Aldermen approves the budget for the City of St. Louis Senior Citizen Services Fund budget for fiscal year 2018 and 2019. Alderman from the 18th, you recognize on the first reading of resolution number 83. Mr. President, members of the board, I ask for unanimous consent. Hearing no objection, please proceed, Alderman. 
I move for adoption of Resolution 83. It's been moved by the Alderman from the 18th, seconded by the Alderman from the 26th. Any further discussion? It's been moved and seconded. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Second reading of resolutions. We have. The Public Safety Committee has approved the reappointments to the Civil Civilian Oversight Board of Heather Highland and Jane Abbott Morris. All of for the 18th, you recognize on the second reading of resolutions and public, from the Public Safety Committee. Uh, Mr. President, members of the board, I move for approval of the reappointments to the Civilian Oversight Board. Been moved by the Alderman from the 18th, seconded by the Alderman from the 26th. Any further discussion? Mr. President, I do have some words. All right, please proceed, Alderman. Uh, yeah, the uh, Public Safety Committee, per the resolution, Per the ordinance that creates the Civilian Oversight Board, did hold a hearing yesterday and reviewed uh, the mayor's recommendations for reappointment to the uh, Civilian Oversight Board. Uh, it was a productive meeting. The two individuals are being uh, reappointed on your desk. You will also have their resumes, as well as a portion of that section of the ordinance that talks about appointments. That appointment process includes uh, aldermen from the various di di uh, districts that were created by the ordinance to recommend names to the mayor. From that, the mayor can make a selection, send it back to the board. But individuals cannot serve on that board unless the board of aldermen approves that appointment. Uh, very much similar to how Congress has on some of the uh, relationship with positions at the federal government. So these individuals have served since the beginning of Civilian Oversight Board. These two individuals. Um, Heather Highland and Ms. Morris. Both are two interesting and very diverse individuals. Uh, Heather Highland is an attorney and also serves on their discipline board. And Ms. Morris deals with uh, human resources, once was worked for CREA, and also advises different groups and organizations and businesses about inclusion. Very uh, qualified individuals. The committee was very pleased and satisfied uh, with the idea of reappointing them. And we even created an environment where they sat at a table as opposed to standing up before us. Uh, and we had a very good discussion. So we had unanimous consent to send these names back to the full board for approval. And I remove, renew my motion. All right, thank you, Alderman. It's been moved and seconded uh, that we adopt the Public Safety Committee's recommendation on the Civilian Oversight Board. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Miscellaneous and un no, we have to say we have nothing further. Oh, we have nothing further on the second reading of the resolutions, committee reports, and adoption. Miscellaneous unfinished business. We have none. Announcements. We have none. Any further announcements? Any further announcements? <laughs> All you were standing there. <laughs> All of them from the third. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I would just like to say to my colleagues, number one, we don't, we don't talk to each other enough. Number one, we love our city, and I love every single person in this room and appreciate everybody for what they do and what they try to bring to the city. Uh, we all are getting ready to go on break, so I encourage everybody, if possible, to get out in each other's wards, take a drive around each other's wards, get out in each other's events, so we can start getting around the city and seeing what we have to offer each other. That's something that we don't do, I think, enough of. So, you know, while we out on this break, if anybody has any events that are going on, everybody has my information. I would like you to send me any events that you do have going on. I do uh, want to come out and, you know, see what's around the city, see what we can uh, swap out and bring back to each other's wards and each other's um, areas or territories. That's something I think we got to kind of change a little bit also. We all are part of the territory of the, territory of the entire city. So we have to start looking at ourselves as being a little bit more inclusive across the entire city, opposed to just being locked up in our little box in our ward. So um, I'm making a pledge to get out. I don't know how many other people have things going on, but please, if you have something going on, let me know. I would definitely like to be involved and be around in everybody's uh, everything. So 
Uh, once again, I encourage everybody to get out and do the same thing. Our constituents are looking for uh, any type of connections we can make with each other. And we are the representatives of thousands of people. So the more we connect and come together, the more resources we can bring to the table collectively. So I appreciate you all. Everybody enjoy your break. And I'm looking forward to seeing every one of you. All right, thank you. All right, perfect. Any, any further announcements? Any further announcements? Alderman from the 18th, you recognize on the motion to excuse. Mr. President, members of the board, I move that the alderman from the 4th, 6th, 14th, and 15th be excused for necessary absence. The move by the alderman from the 18th, seconded by the alderman from the 10th. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Alderman from the 18th, you recognize on the motion to adjourn. Mr. President, members of the board, I move that the board adjourns until Friday, September 7th, 10 a.m. Moved by the Alderman from the 18th, seconded by the Alderman from the 7th. And he's all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Stand adjourned.